if you want to know how to make a live event with a rocket that goes on its own when the live event starts, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to do that. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video on my newbie channel. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a live event, and then once um, it is like the, the live event starts, a rocket will just go up in the sky. Um, we're going to be using a free model though for a rocket because I am trash at building them. Um, first of all, if you haven't subscribed yet, go do that right now because it really supports me out. Yes, it does. And if you want to become a member, of course, go ahead and do that. Click the blue join button down below on my channel, and uh, you can buy some things. Um, so we should kind of start off, but um, the first part is a bit confusing, so let's hop into it right now. So you want to go to the side down below in the description, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you want to start it in a year, go and just do 2021, uh, 2022, sorry. So what you want to just do is 2021. It is the first month, Jan January. It is the 23rd day. For me, it is 11, like, it's, for me, it's like, um, yeah, 11, 20. Um, so we could just do, um, I'm gonna do it in 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna do 27. And then just a second, make sure to set it to local time so you get the actual time. And not just click human to timestamp. And then you get this ID, just copy it. Control C. And now we can go back to Roblox Studio. So we're back in Roblox Studio, and you want to just go to Toolbox and just search for Rocket. I searched, I believe this one. Yep, that one. And you want to go in your Rocket, and then you see a launch a remote event, if you're correct. And just don't don't do anything with it. And go to Service Script Service first. Script. Look like this way. And you want to type something confusing. I'm going to zoom in a bit, of course. Local time to start event. Why not? It's equals to the ID you copy and pasted. And then local time to end event. Just set it to like, I don't know, like nine and a bunch of nines. Just like that. And then function live event. Because we want to get a live event function. You, all you want to type is game.workspace.rocketmodel. Colon, uh, dot launch, sorry, colon fire. You just want to fire it. And then we, over here, we can do while wait one do. So we're just going to wait every second. Uh, local, uh, right now time is equals to O at the time. It's your current time. So if the right now time is, um, higher or equal than the end time, the time to end event, uh, then we're just gonna break it. We're not gonna do anything special and then if time uh, If the right now time is Higher or the same as the time to start then print live event is working completely fine and just um, Fire the live event function and immediately break it. So it's just gonna go on its own and just type over here, live event countdown is, um, dot dot. So, time to start event minus the right now time. Yeah. And then just dot dot, seconds left. Like that. So, we should hop in and, uh, let's do this. Play. And you just want to get an output ready. Yeah, okay, live event, it should do like live event at 420, yeah, we're just gonna wait for that. Yeah, I just decided to speed up the timer a little because, um, I'm not gonna wait 10 minutes, you crazy? So, if we're right, if I do this. Okay, well, that works. So, we'll just wait for a bit. Mmm, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Live event working completely fine. And you see that door closing. And now this goes away. Because what you did is you fire the remote event in here. And this script, it just does everything already for you. Which is really easy. So if we just wait. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ignition. Boom. And now the rocket just goes completely up on its own. And that's how you get a rocket event if you want. So just wait for a bit. You're going to see some parts falling down, but that's completely normal. So we're going to go to the start. Yeah, see, now they're going to fall down. Whee! Boom. <laughs> we're just going to follow the rocket real quick. And you're going to scroll a bunch of times. So you see, this is the rocket, and it's just completely own. It's on itself now. And I believe the second part is all... S yep, there it goes. And now the rocket is completely on its own. So this is how to make a quick life event system. And we're just gonna wait. Yep, boom. So this is just a quick way to make a life event for rockets. So uh, it's a short video. If you did enjoy, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.